If you are looking for the best gaming PC build under $300, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have CPU Ryzen 5 3200G. When it comes to computer CPU and GPU, AMD has always been an underdog dominated by the counterparts like Intel and Nvidia. AMD Ryzen 5 3200G CPU offers solid budget level computing performance, excellent for the money graphics pet, and no brainer value. For beginners, this is an exceptional CPU in its own right. Though this particular model relies on the Z Plus rather than the latest Zen Bull architecture. The 53200G is still a worthy upgrade from its second gen counterpart. A lot of people would suggest going with an Intel Core i3 9100 CPU and pairing it with an entry level graphics card rather than going with a 53200G APU. With four cores, four threads, and a 3.6 GHz base, clock rate running up to 4.0 GHz at maximum boost, 3200G gives an excellent level of performance. Add to this the point that this is an APU with Vega 8 integrated graphics no less, and it becomes clear why no CPU Intel currently has to give can beat it at this price. Moving on to the next and number two with GPU, Vega 8. The Vega 8 onboard graphics of this CPU is no incompetent. It can handle its own and somewhat new titles as long as you turn down some settings so you can get some gaming from time to time. RAM performance is key here, and thanks to the dual channel RAM in this list, the GPU will be able to operate very well. Overall, you should expect at least a steady 30 FPS at 1000 ADIP in most games. In recent AA titles, you may have to fiddle with the graphics settings quite a bit to get there. For example, lowering the resolution to 720 type in GAMES, but in competitive titles, you should expect a full 60 FPS experience. The number three position is held by RAM Ali DDR4 RAM 8 GB. Ali DDR4 RAM 8 GB memory is intended for high performance overclocking. The heat spreader is made of refined aluminum for faster heat distribution, and the eight layer PCB helps manage heat and gives better overclocking headroom. While you may have been informed that running your RAM in dual channel configuration will give you higher performance than running a single stick of RAM. The fact is that, for gaming, dual-channel configurations typically don't give a notable performance improvement when compared to single-channel configurations. Next at number 4, we have Motherboard a Gigabyte B450MDS3HV2. As Rock A520 MHDV motherboards are ready to support the latest AMD Ryzen TM 2000 and 3000 processors, supports AMD 3rd Gen Ryzen slash 2nd Gen Ryzen slash 1st Gen Ryzen slash 2nd Gen Ryzen with Radeon Vega Graphics slash 1st Gen Ryzen with Radeon Vega Graphics slash Athlon with Radeon Vega Graphics processors. The number 5 position is held by storage, Crucial MX500 500 GB. Until very lately, normal users could only imagine SSDs in budget builds such as this one. However, with the prices of SSDs taking a nosedive over the past few months, even 500 GB of SSD storage is no longer wishful thinking. Choosing SSD for boot drive is extremely beneficial for many reasons like faster boot time, more fast software loading, and it's way better than HDD in terms of speed. Utilizing the latest 3D QLC technology and dynamic SLC caching, as U635 SSD can reach up 510 MB slash 560 MB slash S asterisk in read slash write for a faster and smoother boot up, file transferring, and processing. The number six position is dominated by power supply, EVGA 500W80 plus. A power supply is one of the components which are often ignored, and we are saying this once and for all that a PSU is the heart component of your system. And if you cheap out on the power supply, you will have to suffer more than just performance decline. You can end up with a cooked processor, motherboard, storage, or all of these, which is a horror for any of us. That is why we have selected a power supply that is competent in working most of the mid-range systems. Choosing a powerful power supply is better for your PC and it's also better for future upgrades in case you have to add our change into new components. 
This is the only component where I can't give you a clear answer. But I have some of my favorite budget power supply, which you can buy in every online site. Finally, the number eight position is dominated by Casey. Aerocool Cylon RGB Mid Tower. Full acrylic side window RGB ready mid tower case. Elegant backslash LED with 13 lighting modes on the front panel. Six RGB flow lighting modes. Seven solid color modes. Supports liquid cooling. 200 Fordham radiator in the front panel. Supports air cooling. 120 fan on top to enhance cooling performance. Supports high end graphics cards up to 371. Supports VGA fan bracket design. Two 120 fans for superior cooling performance of VGA. Supports SD or micro SD memory card. Dual chamber design for improved ventilation. Removable PSU dust filter for easy cleaning. Steel thickness 0.5. Motherboards ATX slash micro ATX slash mini ITX. Liquid cooling front 200 Fordham radiator optional. I slash O ports USB 3.0 X1, USB 2.0 X2. HD audio, and a mic, air cooling, front, 120MX3 or 140MX2, optional, cap, 120MX1 optional, rear, 120MX1 includes 120M fan. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.